It is Tuesday, February 4th. I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby up here from McCall, just outside the activity barn and overlooking to the east over Boulder Mountain and the beautiful field, which I just got done cross-country skiing through. It was a blast. Ian, the legs did pretty good. Did pretty good. Boy, McCall is just beautiful this time of the year. The activity barn, I think, closed during the week and opened on weekends. But uh, not many people up here today, just me and um, a big old deer. I didn't see it, but coming back to the car, I saw these giant hoof prints <laughs> right through here. And, um, boy, that must be a big old buck just kind of moseying on through up here in some of the foothills. Temperatures are right around 24 degrees at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the drive up here was beautiful today, and more snow is in the forecast. Uh, we're probably going to see a foot of snow before things start to taper off in McCall, I think, here going over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. These clouds you see coming in behind me, these gray clouds are coming on in basically from the north and draping down towards the south and east the system that's coming on in from the pacific northwest is going to be a warm front that's going to move on through um, over the next 24 to 36 hours and provide what we call an overrunning effect meaning the warm air is gradually going to get on top of all this cold air that's down near the surface. Chilly conditions in the Treasure Valley, cold conditions during the day and night, of course, back up here in the mountains. With that, we are going to see um, a change over terrain, possibly, in the Treasure Valley, and maybe even some freezing rain before that happens, meaning you'll see rain that looks like rain, feels like rain, but when it touches surfaces, still at 32 degrees and colder, which there's a good chance of that since we've had several days of temperatures in the teens overnight and daytime highs in the 20s to around the low 30s, then we get ice. So bridges and overpasses could become a little treacherous during the late afternoon hours on your Wednesday. I do like snow to fall in the morning commute, so Wednesday morning down the Treasure Valley, going to be real treacherous. It'll be really slick conditions. Not looking for a whole lot of snow, but some areas could pick up an inch, maybe two, maybe close to four inches in the north end of Boise, back up in the foothills. And then up in the mountains, uh, the Boise Mountains, up here in the West Central Mountains, several inches of fresh snow. So ski areas, Tamarack, Bogus, of course, Brundage, all looking nice during the day on Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night with tremendous amount of snow coming down. Now keep in mind that Bogus Basin Road 55, all going to be slick. So watch out for slick conditions. Just give yourself some space between you and the car in front of you. The situation is going to be really unique too. Daytime highs may not be set for tomorrow until tomorrow night. Temperatures are going to rise tomorrow night and get up uh, as we go on in towards, say, the midnight hour. Probably the highest temperatures of the day in Boise in the mid 30s. But up here in McCall, we'll get temperatures over 32 degrees or getting into the upper 20s overnight. When uh, let's see, tomorrow's Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday night going into Thursday morning. So, this is going to be an interesting uh, weather forecast as the system moves on in across the Pacific, and you can see the clouds on the satellite kind of draping their way on across, coming in from Seattle, draping down across Idaho into southern Idaho. And then, this whole line of moisture that's kind of coming in from the Pacific, going up and over this ridge, is going to drop down and then gradually slide towards the east. Now, that is going to be our warm front that moves on through gradually throughout the day on Wednesday and in through Wednesday night. Snow totals should be pretty spectacular back up here in the Long Valley area. Um, 6 to 14 inches of snow, I think uh, a good bet as we go throughout the day on Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. And then down in the Treasure Valley, like I said, real slick conditions as it starts out in the morning. It really starts coming down. Um, we'll see a gradual changeover, but in the afternoon hours, especially in some of the lower elevations of the Treasure Valley, don't be surprised to see that cold air stuck down on into the, you know, uh, the valley floors and that rain freezing on some bridges and overpasses, sidewalks, 
and then we'll see a gradual change over the rain. So uh, I'm not looking for a major icing event, but there could be some accumulation on trees and that sort of thing as the snow starts to turn to rain and then freezing rain, or freezing rain and then rain is pretty much the process we'll see. Back up here though, in McCall, lots of snow. Um, what's new, right? Been a great year, skiing uh, was great. So far, going into February, starting off with some more pretty active snow. This is what I talked about last September, that we'd see a very active January and early stages of February. Groundhog Day, of course, was on, <laughs> yep, the Super Bowl on Sunday. And um, that little rodent got all the attention. Um, Super Bowl, boy, had a great time at the Hunters. The Hunter Super Bowl party was spectacular. They've been doing it for years, and I'm telling you, they just decorate their whole house with all kinds of Super Bowl garb and, and lots of food and uh, TVs. I mean, this uh, I was so thankful to go up there and enjoy the wonderful uh, Super Bowl conditions there at the Hunters. So, if you, boy, if you were invited and missed it, you missed a good one. Lots of good food. I personally made a good chili and been living off the chili and didn't pay any... Um, didn't pay the price here cross-country skiing um, today. Snow so. on the way, clouds coming on in. This coming on in from the northwest should be a real good active weather pattern that's going to be around. I enjoyed the Super Bowl. Congratulations to the Chiefs. I know many of my friends are Chiefs fans, and uh, that was good. That was just a great story with Andy Reid, of course, getting his Super Bowl trophy. But for um, boy. This, this puppy here is a little tired, but I can't tell you what a beautiful place this is. It's my first time cross-country skiing back up here. This whole field, I don't know, there's miles and miles of trails, and I didn't go that far, but it was fun. Got the old tunes going, and, you know, it's just beautiful up here this time of year. Of course, the Winter Carnival was a big hit. I uh, didn't get around to McCall to see a lot of stuff. I just kind of drove up for the day. I'm going to drive back tonight and do some work on a project I'm working for. I took a couple of days off this week. Um inundated with the flu two weeks ago that is just awful i'm watching a person behind me cross-country skiing and skating you know how they do like this back and forth i didn't do that uh, that person is just a big show-off you are you're a show-off back over there with his dog all right boulder mountain my favorite place back up there towards the northwest I had, gosh i hiked up there and boulder lake caught tons of fish this year let me turn around and look at this Let's zoom in on the show off. Look at this. Oh, they dip. Oh, of course. Of course he dipped down below the old edge there, unless he fell. Let's hope they're okay. There was a dog there. Oh, there you can just see his head. See him? Or her? And there's the dog. Now that's a real good cross-country skier right there. Let me... Look at them go. Wow. I'm not that good. Wow, that's pretty impressive. That's as far as I can zoom. They're gone again. Oh, well. Well, trust me, they are um, good cross-country skiers. I am not. Now we're looking to the east. As you can see out here, um, the leading edge of the clouds you can see that right back through there. And so that um, leading edge of cloud cover is coming in right at us from the north, the direction kind of bending down in towards the south. Well, thanks for watching the weather show. I am all pooped out. I'm going to go hit 55, drive down that gorgeous scenic drive this time of the year. I love it. I love this state. Love up here by the activity barn. Love you guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in and... Um, Boy, tell your friends and family to subscribe if you haven't already um, about the weather show of Vin Crosby. We, I just, life is good right now. Life is good.